Okay, welcome back to the channel. So what I look for is battery mineral stocks. So mines that are making minerals that go into the battery because that's where the growth is coming from. In my opinion, we're going to electric vehicles slowly but surely. Like it could take longer than we they forecast. The forecasts sometimes never quite right. They just forecast. Like it's just a person like you or me ring up multiple companies saying, "Oh, how much um short of graphite are you?" Oh, so really, and you're paying that much for it? Okay. You bring up this other company. So how much are you planning to get out of the ground? And there's people doing that, and they're working these figures, and they get it wrong. Who knows? So maybe they're correct. I don't know. But the general consensus is we're going towards batteries. We're going to need more of those materials. And the ones that probably got the most growth are lithium and graphite, because we didn't need lithium before. We need graphite for other things, but we didn't need so much of it. So the demand for lithium and graphite exceeds the other things. Nickel has good demand as well, um, but mostly things we didn't need before, like lithium and graphite. There's probably others that I forgot about, but anyway. So just an example, why you invest in graphite now? You want to buy low, sell high. So CXO ASX. So look at CXO. So around here, no one can sell, but there's an oversupply of lithium. Um, like they didn't need it. Like, COVID came, they weren't making cars. So, no, we don't want you lithium. We can't even sell any cars. And then fast forward. Oh, we're making cars. Where's the lithium? Oh, he didn't pay us before, so he couldn't afford to get out of the ground. And, etc. etc. So these guys. Good thing about core lithium, they're close to a main city. So to build the mine doesn't cost much because there's workers there. Like that's a pretty big factor having. Instead of having to truck something so many kilometers, you don't have to truck it out of the town, whatever. Cheaper. Cheaper to get to port. A truck only has to drive one hour instead of driving five hours. So that's a good thing about Core Lithium and Renascore. The location is great. Like, you need grade, you need all that. But location, workforce, local workforce um, is a good thing too. So the reason Core Lithium is going crazy, as I said, because... They can get it out of the ground at 400 and they can sell it for not all of the ones that the tons that isn't under contract they can sell for 5,000 so and they're doing 100,000 tons a year or something like that so 100,000 times say 4,000 profit what's that 4,000 times 100,000 40 400 million 400 million dollars so of course it's not going to be that easy they might they make 200 million dollars they could make more could make less i don't know i wouldn't be buying cxo myself because that's a pretty high price to pay when other people get online and the lithium price goes down I'm not saying this decade could be later i'm not sure it's just more risky in my opinion to pay this much for a company where it's up in the air where the profit margins will be Though there could be a $10 billion company, who knows? But I'd rather find someone a bit smaller, like GL1. GL1 probably be the next, uh, next core lithium, in my opinion. I bought them at $0.40, cents, saying, why not? They're next to Pilbara Minerals, a $10 billion company. They've probably got the same stuff in the ground. Pilbara Minerals can do it. If they just drill some more, they can do it. And I was right, because I bought them here. Then CATL was like, oh, we want your future, future uh, spudge mean. And then mineral resources bought in them, and I see them going to over a billion soon. I reckon they'll announce building their mine within the coming year or two, and they'll probably get online when prices are still good. Um, so long as Vladimir, what's his name, Putin doesn't blow up the world or whatever. There's there's ups and downs along the way, but global lithium is a good one. Not saying it's a super great buy now. Um, I'm not selling for tax reasons, and I also see it's got a little more growth. So it could, who knows, they could go to $2 billion. I'm not saying they will or won't. Um, so anyway, we'll go to, to Graphite, which could be the next runner, the next lithium. Could be, might not be. So these guys have the project here. It's small. It's actually pretty small now, but they've got all this thing not drilled yet, so... They've drilled this, got a pretty good resource, and maybe they can times that by five. Um, 
yeah, so have a pretty big resource. <clears throat> Two million, 10 million tons at 17%. Anyway, I, have pretty, I don't think that's as big as Ren score, but they're going to get this out of the ground, make it into NO material in Collie. They, they'll probably get backing from the Australian government if they're a pretty good thing. Going to create jobs, etc. So these guys could be next. I could be wrong. Renascore, good company. Probably I wouldn't be buying them now because I would have liked to bought them here or here when the, you buy before the news comes. Like you know, they've got a good project and a good location. You know, electric vehicles getting near, and. You know, the go the government gives them a free $270 million loan. So instead of having to raise all that money diluting the share price, they've got a loan. That's the that's the number one thing you want, the Australian government loan. Not to dilute your share price. So who knows where this goes. I don't know the exact numbers. But Springdale could be next to go from whatever, $600 million, $60 million to $500 million. Who knows? It seems likely. I don't see anyone else in Australia with a graphite deposit and plans to do anno material. Um, besides Renascore. And then we got this one in on the TSXV. If anyone wants to buy this one, they got a really high grade. Pro Their neighbor is $70 million. They're only $7 million. The neighbor Mason Graphite. Sorry if I'm jumping all over the place, but I'm just speaking my mind. Mason Graphite stock price. So the difference between these guys is pretty much the same resource. Um, split down the middle. These guys have drilled it out more. Uh, it's like they've spent a lot more drilling than these guys. Where are they? So they probably just have to wait for the graphite price to go up, and then people are going to say, well, we want to invest now. It's, uh, we're making money. We'll give you some. Just give me some of your uh, projects. And then they go up, and even if sometimes, even if you're not near production, there could something happen. People, the price goes up. So, so I'm buying low now. Seven million. They got three million in cash. Uh, one. They've done four drilling seasons at one point five million a drilling season, which is six million. So you're getting them for pretty much cost price. Um, in Quebec, high grade hydropower, and most likely they're going to go downstream because why wouldn't you spend another hundred million to make even more money? Especially when you got hydropower to power up because it's the cheapest, cleanest thing available. So yeah, who knows? If we get in that short supply, this pro thing will pop up even before they get in production or go near production, which they will soon announce a PEA. And then once the graphite gets going, could be 2025, could be 2030, this thing will probably shoot up quite a bit. In my opinion. So, um, who else? There's a lot of other graphite players, but this is probably a pretty good one. A bit more risk, but a lot more reward. Like, that's a 7, to get to where IG6 is, that's a 7, a 10x just to get to IG6 with a bit more news. And then beyond. So, sorry about the all over the place there video but the main point is buy low sell high buy before like you buy the heater in summer when no one wants a heater and in winter everyone's scrambling to get one no one's made the heaters it's probably a bad analogy but everyone will pay more for a heater etc so you buy before the news like predict it know know all the stocks inside out and before the news comes you know like you knew like gl1 there's a pretty good chance they're the best best thing next best thing around right next to another big player, Pilgrim Minerals, they're the same rock type, definitely going to have the same stuff there. Um, so you buy it, and then, what do you know, C CATL comes in and says, we need lithium, and they give you some money, and say, well, how much do you need to get this in thing, because we want that lithium. And then Mineral Resource says, well, uh, you got a good project, we'll invest as well. So you buy before the news, and you buy before the resource price goes high so graphite right now I believe is low it could double or triple if 
they need all this graphite at once and they haven't built the mines yet because they haven't spent the money to build the mines the players who can get out of the ground first will go very well so if you can get into production in graphite right when the thing comes that's where you make the money so this is more on TXXV GEM mark cap, neighbor makes graph of 70 million other comparison to MLS 60 million dollars um, they got cash of 2.8 resource four seasons uh, half a million tons of graphite in the ground plenty more land to drill so that's only four seasons to get a 25 year mine life probably 12 seasons would be heaps hydropower mason graphite so mason graphite has done all the work to say so yeah this battery will go into the battery etc it's the same they got the same deposit as mason graphite they're just sharing the deposit capex sells 2018 probably closer to 200 million now with inflation 80% large flake so if you didn't know graphite the large flake gets like two thousand dollars a ton where the battery stuff doesn't have to be so large flake I believe it's a thousand a ton but that thousand a ton might go to who knows three thousand a ton um, when, the, when the shortfall comes and then you redo the figures and say well that looks pretty good and so if they get out of the ground they probably get out of the ground for five hundred dollars a ton and they make five hundred dollars a ton to a thousand but then they'll get out for five hundred dollars a ton and make fifteen hundred dollars a ton if it goes to like two thousand so example near surface so the graphite actually comes out of the ground like they don't even have to dig any dirt to get it out of there um, so yeah got some money in these guys and I got some money in ID6 I like to try and pick the the best chances penny stocks are the best chance to become into production before the news happens anyway sorry again for the um, unedited video jumbled up whatever but I'll see you in the next one